everyone this is me Sadia here and I'm Tengir who is coming towards you in the month of February 2020 in your love life so this is going to be for the sign of Sagittarius so let's find out what is coming up for Sagittarians in their love life this month uh be mindful of the fact that it is going to be a general reading it may it may not resonate with everyone out there so just pick whatever resonates and leave the rest for a personal reading you can always reach out to me on my email id in the description box you can also follow me on instagram where i do upload daily readings you can also check out the link to my sister's channel which is about lifestyle well-being and health and uh, she's also talking about law of attraction and stuff like that as well in in her channel so you can uh, check out her channel and if you like it do subscribe to her channel as well and be a part of her youtube family as well so yeah let's get started let's see what's coming up for Sagittarians in their love life for the month of uh, february 2020 let's see who is coming towards you who is um you know or what is coming up for you in your love life overall let's find out i will be adding charms to at the end of the reading so yep stay tuned while i'm shuffling the cards i would like to uh uh, I would like you if you go, um, you, if you close your eyes and meditate on uh, if you have a certain person on your mind or if you have uh, you know uh, some questions in your uh, you know regarding your love life and on your mind, so we could tap into that energy as well. So let's see who is coming towards you, Sagittarians, in the month of Feb for your love life. One more shuffle and we are ready to go. Let's find out. Four of Wands. Wow. Pair of Red. The Moon. Pair of Red. Six of Swords. Underneath the deck, you do have the Queen of Cups. Underneath that, Five of Cups. Underneath that, Two of Pentacles. Underneath that, King of Wands. I feel like you know there there is somebody in your life who really wants to put an end to something to start something beautiful um yeah somebody needs to put an end to something so they could start something new that is what i'm picking up very strongly uh I feel like whoever you are connected with, there is like, you know, there is, there are certain things that, um, there are certain decisions that your partner has to make before they could, um, before they could make a move towards you, before they could, you know, um, whatever it is that there, there are certain things that they want to do, but they are unable to do because they are, you know, not in a position to do that. I don't know what, what, what is the, you know, blockage there in their life, which is stopping them from having what they want with you. Um, and I feel like, you know, whatever it is, it is definitely disappointing you at many times. It's something that disappoints you every time you have, you know, your partner has the same issue. So it could be you having some issues. It could be the person that you are dealing with. They have some issues and, maybe you know either one of you is getting disappointed by the you know by the by their uh you know um by their partner because because they are not letting go of something which they need to let go of so you too can have something beautiful to start um it's like whatever it is i feel like you know there there is something which which either bothers them or bothers you which uh, um It's more of, uh, you know, something created out of nothing kind of a thing. It's it's like, you know, whatever that is stopping them or whatever that is stopping you, it's it's more of a made up kind of a thing. Like, you know, there is nothing that, that should be stopping the two of you from coming together, from doing things together, from, uh, you know, uh, following your plans with this person. But there is this mental block. It could be you having the mental block or it could be the person that you are dealing with is having that mental block, which is stopping you from the growth, which is stopping you from the uh from uh from what you both want to have um yeah
there is like you know on and off of a thing like you know um sometimes you feel like you know things are moving quick and fast between the two of you things are going exactly the way you want them to move but at the same time some something triggers in them or in you which 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 completes the ch you know which com completely changed the picture for you and for this person it's like um um i don't know it whatever it is that you you know it it could be um i don't know i'm picking up more of the energy where you know where somebody um has the mood swings like you know um which changes the whole relationship or the perspective you see this relationship it's like you keep switching from you know shall i have this person or shall i move on shall i have this person shall i move on because every time you think of you know moving on you feel like you know you, there is love between the two of you but at the same time there is a lot of disappointment in this connection that you are having with uh, with certain someone in your life right now because this person needs to break free from certain um mindset i would say because i do see it's it's more of something which they have made up on on their own so you really need to um there is love that you have for this person but at the same time there is this mindset that the other person needs to let go of and um only then this relationship can move forward the way you both desire uh let's see what what else can we have for the Sagittarians for this month of february time what do they need to do to come out of the situation what do they need to do to come out of the situation a lot of disappointment in this connection it's it's it seems like you know um it seems like you know nothing is on its place right now like you know where it should be in your love life like you know uh things are getting messy and messy and messy and it's like you know nothing seems to be working out for the two of you right now and um, the the issue here is the lack of clarity, the lack of vision, the lack of uh, you know um, it's it's more like somebody is very um, somebody is not coming out of the sadness. Like you know, it's it's again the mental blocks are pretty much stopping you from having what you want, and that's the only thing you can you can you know that's the only way to change the situation around. Uh, exactly the way you want it to be by removing those mental blocks those mental blocks whatever it is like you know for some of you it could be regarding jobs for, for others of you it could be regarding you know uh how to get together like maybe your parents are not you know allowing you maybe your 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 family is not giving you the approval of the other person whatever it is it's more of the mental blocks there which is stopping the two of you from having what you desire again if you could change the, that mon mental picture of your future together things will work out for the two of you that's what i'm picking up very strongly if and only if you could uh change the picture that you have about your future with this person you can change the reality right now it's all too messy right now you cannot see what you can do to make it work everything seems like you know if you look at this side it's like blurry when you look at this side it's totally blurry when you look at that side it's completely like you know um full of chaos or something so it's it's like you know every uh, every time you try to you know figure out something it, it gets you know messy and messy so it, what what you need to do is sit down relax and calm your mind and then um Try to take one thing at a time and try to make things work in that particular, you know, um, in that particular, uh, whatever it is that is bothering you or whatever it is that is blocking your connection to, to move forward. So just just um, act towards, you know, making things uh, work rather than, you know, stressing about it and, you know, uh, thinking negative about it. It's high time that you stay uh, start having a clear picture, have a clear vision for you, for the two of you. And whatever needs to be left behind, just leave it there. Because I feel like, you know, there is a lot of going back and forth. There's a lot of going, you know, up and down in this connection. There is a lot, um, 
uh, of uh, mood swings coming maybe from both sides or from either side for sure like you know it's it's like it completely changed the game for the two of you so you really need to uh, come out of those mental uh, blocks and nobody has the mood swings without any mental blocks for sure so you really need to work on that you can use affirmations to come out of you know having any negative blocks that you might have ar around your love life um or if you have any issues which are causing you know the issues in your love life i would suggest you to you know try to uh, try to target those issues and try to work on those issues so you could come out of it so it could it could stop you know, uh, affecting your love life as well. So just work on those things and everything will be fine. But right now, you really need to understand that you really have to take actions towards what you want. Because uh, the way you are treating things right now, it's not going to work. You really have to take actions to make things work. You cannot sit back and think like, you know, one day it will be all good. Or when is it going to happen? When is it going to work out? It's not going to work like that. You really have to make a uh, movement forward. You really have to take the, in, you know, um, the uh, the um the guided steps towards it so once you start doing that everything will start falling into place for you but you really have to change your perspective from the being so negative or being so uh you know cloudy to something clear and positive let's see what the chance has to add for you for your love life for this um month of february let's see okay you do have h b as the alphabets and a as well so these could be the initials of the person that you are dealing with or it could be um <clears throat> you really need to change your habits for some of you maybe you have to make it you know a little more productive um as well hav then um yeah these could be the initials of your name or the name of the person that you are dealing with um you really have to, you know, get into the root cause of the problem that you are having right now, which you are not getting there. Like, you know, it's something that you really need to change. Uh, you, you've been keep going on, you know, in circles, like, you know, when it comes to this issue, it's like, you know, you are not trying to find a way out of it. You have been going into the circles with this issue. Um, but I feel like, you know, there is definitely love. Uh, there is definitely passion, compassion for each other. But at the same time, that's not going to make things easy for the two of you until unless you trigger, uh, sorry, until unless you target what you, what, what, uh, you know, trigger the mood swings, what trigger the issues that are causing to have, you know, uh, I feel like, you know, there is nothing wrong in the relationship, uh, you know, in itself, but it's more of something else triggers the, the dis uh, disturbance or disappointments in your love life. So try to work on those things and everything will be fine. So yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for this exchange for the month of February 2020. If the reading resonates with you, do like, subscribe and share. If you are willing to get a personal reading, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. Till I do the next reading for you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.